Okay, my next little project is with this blast cabinet. Every time I use it, you know, after about 30 or 45 seconds of blasting, there's a big cloud all around this thing. I can see it floating in the air. I don't want to breathe it. So I end up blasting for 45 seconds while I'm holding my breath. Then stop, walk away, let all the dust settle, and come back for another 45 seconds worth of work. And also inside here, a big cloud develops and I can hardly see what I'm blasting. There is no vacuum system on this thing. It should have one. I've seen them for sale online. I mean, I've got the port closed off so dust doesn't just pour out of there. But I've seen vacuums online for several hundred dollars. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try to work up some kind of a system for a vacuum that doesn't throw dust all over the garage and also allows me to see what I'm doing inside the cabinet. So I did a little research and what looks to be the best idea to me is the Dust Deputy. You may have seen these things, it cost about 60 bucks. Um, you know, it's got... You know, that's what it looks like inside. Uh, you hook your vacuum to the top, you hook your blast cabinet hose to the side, and while your vacuum is sucking air through the top, the part, all the dust from your cabinet will go in the sides, swirl around. All the dust in the media and the debris and the rust that you're removing should fall down the bottom of this thing into a container. And your vacuum will be sucking up mostly clean air through the top. You know, keeping the filter in the vacuum cleaner nice and clean. And just allowing all the debris to collect in the barrel instead of the vacuum cleaner. So that's what I went with. Again, I said it's like 60 bucks. A couple of Home Depot buckets were like three bucks a piece. So, you know, 70 bucks. Let's see if I can't put something together that will help my blast cabinet. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I think the first step I'm going to do is, is cut a hole in the top of the, the bottom of this bucket which will be the top eventually and then we'll securely mount this with a provided gasket for an airtight seal with hardware that came with the kit so we'll bolt this down nice and tight on there that's step one okay first step I'm going to drill a hole right through the bottom of this bucket hole I'm looking for but it's got to be a little bit bigger than this. So we're going to work that hole a little larger. Alright, so there's the hole I ended up with. Now we're just going to drill So we got our holes drilled. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Tighten all these down.
Okay. We'll have to see if that's good enough. So you can use whatever you have hanging around. I'm going to use this pneumatic saw and I think it'll cut it nice and clean. But that's not too bad. We'll clean up this edge and see if we can't get it to slide into the top of the other bucket. So this is what I'm looking at at this point. Not bad. I like it. Okay, so this is what I have up to this point. And this looks pretty cool, I think. Nice big container. It'll take me forever. I'll never have to empty this thing out, I wouldn't imagine. Um, with the dust deputy mounted on top. I just got to find a place over near the blast cabinet and see if we can hook some hoses up. But those two buckets fit nice and tight, and I like it. Now I want to see if I can squeeze it in here. Space is tight here in the garage. This is in everybody's garage, I'm sure. But I've got a four foot. 2 inch vacuum hose that I ordered coming in so we'll connect that to there should have a pretty straight shot out of that port behind the press and into that side port of the dust deputy and we'll get a small vacuum cleaner or we'll maybe I'll mount it up here in the wall somewhere and then everything will be collected into those two buckets Alright, that's where we're at so far. Okay, so here I'm at. I got the hose, which is a lot smaller than the Dust Deputy. Went to Home Depot, I picked up this little unit here, which happens to fit the vacuum hose perfectly. Well, it didn't quite fit perfectly here. I couldn't squeeze it in on top of this thing. So I cut a bunch of slots in it, and with those slots now this is able to collapse a little bit, and I'm able to squeeze this on here, although it wasn't staying on very good, and it would come loose, and it would just kind of slide off. So I'm going to try to wrap some electrical tape around this once, and see if the electrical tape will lock it in place better. The electrical tape will also help because this doesn't go cover over all of these slots all the way. So I think just a wrap or two with electrical tape. We'll cover up any existing 
slots that might be exposed and the tape itself will help lock this thing on top. So just like that. Perfect. All right, that's nice and tight. That that's not sliding off at all. And then this hose fits right on there. Like that. That's beautiful. All right, here we are. We're almost done. We've got the unit in place there. We've got, I got the vacuum just hanging on the wall up there, out of the way, up off the ground. The vacuum hose going straight down into the top of the dust deputy. Um, I've also, I went out and bought an extension cord that's got one of these on off buttons on it. And so here's the outlet that I have close by. So I've got this extension cord plugged in to the outlet, comes up goes through the on off button and then here's the extension cord and then here this green cord is the light in the box uh, the black cord is the vacuum hanging on the wall they're both hooked up to this one extension cord that goes through this on off switch yeah it's not the prettiest thing in the world but you know it's out of the way and so now, when I want to blast something, put it in the cabinet, get it all set up, and then when I'm ready to go, I just reach over, hit that button, get the light comes on, my vacuum cleaner that's out of the way up on the wall comes on, and once I get the hose hooked up to this thing, I should be able to blast in here. Uh, the cloud of dust inside the cabinet will stay at a minimum. Uh, there should be no dust outside where I'm trying to breathe. And then when I'm done, reach over, hit the button, shuts off the light, shuts off the vacuum. And all of the dust and debris ought to go through that little funnel there, cyclone down into the bottom of this huge container. And, uh, mostly clean air into the vacuum which has its own filter as well and just clean air coming out the vacuum so that's you know, I'm psyched can't wait to get that final hose to give it a try but I think it's a decent little setup it's nice and easy now come over here blast 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 done and that's it. And then it just sits there waiting to be used. Very cool. I like it. Alright, so here I am. I finally got my last piece and that would be the vacuum hose. That goes from the dust deputy over to the side of the blast cabinet. And there it sits. There's the vacuum up top on the wall. So now I come over, I just hit my button here, turns the light and the vacuum. And then when I'm done, I hit the button again, the light goes off, the vacuum shuts off, and I should be able to work in this area without a big cloud around me. And I'll be able to breathe and work and see. So let's grab something and give it a try. Alright, so I'm looking for something to throw in here and blast, and I, I found this thing, so we'll try this and see how it works. Okay, here we go.
nice and clear in here. I can still see. It would be all clouded before and I wouldn't be able to see much. Okay, and here's a closer look at this thing. You know, just, just, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds on here versus the back side, front side. All right, I'm going to take a look at this dust deputy as I blast a little bit and see if we can see any debris kind of going in there. see how that uh, debris just kind of circulates and drops straight down where the vacuum is sucking clean air out the top. Okay here we are all done. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Uh, like I said initially I could barely use this blast cabinet. I'd have to hold my breath for 30 seconds, use it, walk away, let the dust settle. Now everything is sucked out that vacuum hose into this dust deputy. All the debris drops down into the bucket, or most of it. Uh, the vacuum up there has a filter in it, but it's blowing out clean air as I operate the thing. So now I can run this thing for long periods of time, blasting parts, cleaning parts, tearing rust off of stuff. While I can see inside there much better, and I can breathe the whole time. So I'm calling this done and a success. There you have it. Thanks for watching.